What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're going to be tying up the fly pattern called the Joey. It's a Welch pattern. Uh, the reference I got was from uh, George Barron's book at the end of the line. It's got a bunch of flies like this. We're going to be using a Semper fly. This is a 6 aught in black. The hook is a number 12, uh, checks nymph hook by Fulling Mill 35065. We're going to go ahead and start our thread right here behind the shank and we're going to have, we'll go ahead and wrap backwards behind the eye into the bend and I'm going to use the tag end. Notice I'm holding it at an angle. That way each thread wrap just kind of slides right into the other one and as I get past that hook point I'll go ahead and just get rid of that tag end. You can also trim it out with your scissors. Now the first thing we're going to tie in, this is the hot spot. This is a hot orange. This is by Semperfly, one of their flosses. It's a 400 denier. I'm just going to take off about oh, six and a half inches and we're going to fold it in half. It makes it a little easier to work with doubling it over. Uh, that way you can really kind of work on the taper here at the end. And I'll fold it over, tie it in with just a little bit of a pinch wrap there work my way backwards and we will go a little bit further into the bend and we'll go ahead and cover up that little loop there with our thread here in a minute and that way we have a little bit of room to work with we're building up a little bit of a, a more body on the shank and then I'm just going to take these two flosses and just kind of lay them flat and go ahead and wrap them around making sure to grip both of them firmly makes it a little easier don't lose your thread tension otherwise you'll have to start over and you can see how this lays nice and flat uh, make sure you avoid that hook point otherwise it will fray um, this is a very very sharp hook and we've got quite a number of uh, uh, material here in our thread and so that will uh, help us avoid that so avoid that hook point go ahead and wrap down a little bit wrap back up and you can see how that's just got a nice little taper I'll jump my thread back tying this off with a behind wrap a couple in front do another behind and then we are ready to just advance our thread up and we'll trim this out now this is the hot spot on the back I love fishing a lot of hot spots especially on swinging flies and for this since we are going to be using a natural peacock um, hurl we want to make sure to use some wire. This is the Semperfly. This is a copper wire in a 0.2 millimeter, and this is going to help make this fly a little bit more durable. We all know that peacock, you're using natural materials sometimes. We got to reinforce them using um, wire or super glue or some sort of bonding agent. For this, we're using this copper wire, and I've always had good luck uh, with the wiring or ribbing using the color copper or gold. And so we'll go ahead and tie this in on the top of the shank and then as I get back to where we're ending our thread and beginning our hot spot, I'll kind of wrap it over to the side. And we'll get that out of the way with a useful hair clip and uh, advance our thread up to not quite the eye, maybe an eye length behind the eye. And we're going to be tying in some peacock. Now this is from a gift from a friend. He has some peacocks that uh, a couple times a year they um, lose their uh, tail feathers. Or, and so these were just naturally harvested and so I was able to get some and hopefully give these to him. So we're going to tie in three. Um, it really depends on the uh, size or, or what kind of quality you have. Uh, well, I'm going to use three for this purpose and we'll go ahead and start the wrap. And you can see the, the fibers kind of lay down naturally one way versus the other. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this um, up and over, kind of away from me. Sometimes I wrap them towards me. You just got to be mindful of which way you're wrapping it so that when we wrap our wire, we're going to be counter ribbing it. Make sure you also leave yourself plenty of room. And I actually broke one off there. You can see how fragile this material is. The fish love it though and so we continue to use it but luckily I think that thread wrap trapped it enough and we'll go ahead and secure it now with this uh, copper wire and so I wrapped the um, peacock up and over away from me and so with this wire I'm going to wrap it over and towards me that way we're counter ribbing increasing the durability of this material you can also lay down a little bit of super glue before you do this I've just found that um, I like using the wire on this because you're not going to mat down any of these nice, nice, shiny, natural uh, fibers. And so we'll go ahead and tie off this wire, snip it out with some flush cutters, kind of use your thumb if you need to to get that little pointy end out of the way because we're going to be tying in some feathers now. This is a Whiting Farms. Uh, this is some uh, furnace and the um, George Barron actually recommends using a smaller and a slightly oversized hackle um, that way the smaller 
hackle is going to support the larger, uh, longer fibered one. And I, I, I have done this before. It's just uh, one thing that he did mention in his book. And so we'll go ahead and uh, get this uh, smaller feather prepped by just tying in the tip here. And I'm going to push it against uh, the hook shank, the peacock on my side with two securing wraps. We have the tip exposed out the end, the material we're gonna wrap coming out the back. And then I'll lay the second uh, larger feather in the same manner, prepping it so that the tip is about the same size and we'll go ahead and wrap it up and over and secure it with a couple wraps. Now, you can trim out these tips. I just wrap them back. I think it gives a little extra support and structure, um, kind of like a wing on these. And so we'll advance our thread up to right behind the, uh, the hook eye. And all I like to do just a single turn whip finish just to secure our thread. You could also half hitch it. We're going to get out our hackle pliers so that we don't uh, have any screw ups. Uh, you can always do this by hand and sometimes you may lose it on the last wrap and have to start over. That's not a big deal when you're using a premium hackle. So we're going to wrap up and over starting to get uh, most of our fibers going backwards. Watching out for that hook point as you're stroking up and over this. Uh, that hook point likes to snag your thumb as you're coming around. So just be a little bit careful. If you didn't get them all on the first wrap, get them on the second wrap and just get most of your hackle fibers going backwards at this point. Now you can prep your feather a little better than I do uh, by creasing it. I just like to stroke them back as I'm going and we'll do about three turns and then we'll come up and over and um, bring our thread up and over through. Do it once around the eye, come up and over again and that way we're trapping that ha both those hackle stems two times and we'll go ahead and trim these out being a little mindful of uh, not uh, snipping out our thread so uh, we're almost done with this fly the next step is of course to just uh, tie this off build up a little bit of a head um, and as, as you wrap these thread wraps backwards they're going to cause those hackle fibers to um, not splay or or have such a flare to them so the more wraps you do backwards the more it's going to mat it down of course when it gets wet it's going to you know in a, in a current or is it's uh, potentially with tension in a uh, being stripped in it's going to mat down but of course that's going to flare up on on rests or on uh, a less strong current or on a pause and so that right there is the joey you can also use a head cement i did two whip finishes and so i think we're solid um, it's got the hot spot, it's got peacock, it's got some copper wire, it's all the combinations to be an excellent fly. And uh, go ahead and swing it in your local waters and hopefully it triggers some fish to come up and get a free lip piercing. Thanks for watching and uh, tight lines and I hope this works out for you. Mm -hmm.